Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Subnautica and today we are hopefully going to find the rest of the battery charger and there was another thing that I wanted to try and find as well and then we're going to go off to that point over there which, where, where, where is it? Where's it gone? Where's it gone? There's, there's a point over there, what, th there's a point somewhere that we're supposed to be, it's, it's not that one, so let's turn around, it should be behind us, calm down, see, we, we can do this Frith, we can do this. Uh, there is a radio. Oh, it's there. I see it. It's right over there. We need to go and get that one which is carrying priority remains. We've got to go and look at that. But I have been told that there was another wreck over here that I... Well, I haven't been told. I, I, that we, we know there's a wreck. I know there's a wreck. That's not the bit that I was told. What I was told is that whilst I was looking around this wreck, I missed something important. There is the thing that I... Calorie intake recommended. Oh, calorie intake recommended. Okay. We've got a huge, great big Leviathan right here on top of the world. Oh, can I get on top of him? Is he one of these ones that's got the floaters that have dragged him all the way up to the surface? Well, I do like that I'm on top of him. I don't like that I'm busy running away. Uh, we, we, we need to get back in the water. Let's just uh, very quickly have some calorie intake. I don't have any calorie intake. This is not good. Okay, I was planning to go to that point over there, but... <laughs> okay, that was not the best, most elegant of dismounts. Now, down here somewhere, I was told that I missed the other thing with the battery. That the other piece of the battery is here somewhere. Um, I've got part of the battery charger and the other piece is here somewhere. That's what I need to be looking for. So we, we're, we're going to have a little look around in right inside here. Uh, see if I've missed it over here. I don't see any symbol coming up yet to say that I've got a, a thing. Um, so there's nothing there. We found one piece of the battery charger so far. I'm looking for one other piece of the battery charger and then I think we will have to head back before we, we do anything. Ooh, what's that? That's, that's not anything. Nope. So where's the piece of the battery charger? It's supposed to be round here somewhere. Near this wreckage. Near the pod. Life pods. Is it life pod 17 that we're supposed to be nearby? I don't actually know. Now there is this down here. We know about that now. We, we've sort of... Um, we, we've learned about that. Well, it's, there is the entrance to the cave. A huge, great, big, deep cave. It goes way, way down. Um, I don't see where this battery charger thing is. It's not here. Right, I would like the battery charger, I really would, but it's not kind of the, the, the be-all and end-all of life for us at the moment, because there are other things that we want to get. And in particular, we want to get diamond. I want to be able to go and get diamond. Uh, right, I'm just sort of going across here, and... Don't actually see any sign of anything that we can scan in order to get this. We're down to power 18%. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. We're going to go back to our own habitat a minute. And once we've done that, we will we'll get food. We'll make sure that we're properly fooded up. And I'll probably take some food with us. We'll empty out everything that we can. And then we're going to head back this way. We're going to go to that one over there. We're going to get the priority passengers remains. Wherever those remains might be, we're going to see if we can find them. Now, what's this down here? Is this something important? Scan. Oh, okay. Maybe this is what I'm after. Seamoth fragment. I think I've already got all the Seamoth. Ah, yeah, I do. I have the Seamoth already, so that is something else that we want to make. I want to make the Seamoth as soon as I can, actually. Go up through here. Well, we need to um, get through all of this bit here. And then once we've gotten through here, we should be fine. Seek fluid intake. Seek fluid intake and seek... Uh, we need all kinds of intake. You know, i got fluid on me. It's food that I need as urgent. Um, and food is starting to flash at me quite badly. So well, both of them are flashing at me quite badly. So we, we need to make sure that we get in and quick. Right. Welcome aboard, Captain. Hi, how you doing? Right. Um, first of all, let's go into here and we can... We can drink the water. Vital signs stabilizing. Okay, that's good to know. We're stabilizing. We've got one percent left on that battery. That one's full. That one's full. So I got I got batteries. I got plenty of batteries. We got the propulsion cannon there. Uh, I got a load of other resources. I don't actually need to take the radiation helmet with me, really, do I? Right. Um, open locker. Do I have any food in any of these? I don't think I do. I'm going to leave the titanium behind. Those batteries are duds. I've got that for fluid intake and also those. 
Um, open this locker here. This has got bladder fish are not for food. We want them for other things. Um, Vauxhall shrub seeds. That's not food either. Oh, there's that for water. So Emergency. I'll... Starvation imminent. Oh Seek dear. Calorie intake immediately. Right, well, let's take that one. And, oh, no, I know what I need to do. I need to go into the fabricator, and I need to go into sustenance and cooked food and cook a bladder fish very, very quickly. Or we are going to starve to death, which is not a good way to go. So we can consume. Consume. There we go. Vital right, we're on 25. We have to go out and we have to get some food in a minute. I'm just going to very quickly make some water first because I could also do that. What we'd like to be able to do is make that laser cutter, but we need diamond. I've got um, cave sulfur. That's not a problem. We can easily find that. But I need diamond to be able to complete that. I also need food. Uh, more lockers would be useful. So let's just go into here a second and we'll take not the repair tool. I want the habitat builder. That one right there. Um, I'll put that one instead of the light for a minute. So then we go to the habitat builder. So we've got a scanner room there. I need table coral sample. I've got gold. I've got copper ore. I've got titanium. I can make a scanner room. I can also make... Uh, we could... Oh, and a multi-purpose room as well. Actually, I'd like to make a multi-purpose room. We're not going to do that at the moment. It's, it's, it's not something that we're going to worry about right now. Oh, exterior modules. Uh, exterior grow bed. Yeah, so we can actually do this interior grow bed so we can make some food. Composite. Calorie yeah, calorie recommended. intake recommended. I need to make a locker. I want to make one more of those. Um, this one here, I'm going to put on this wall over here. Uh, how, how, how do we rotate? Oh, that's it. How you do it? Do it like that. I'm going to put that one right there. So we'll put that one in here. And then I can unload some of this other stuff that I've got, which is all of this stuff here. Um, titanium, we got loads of titanium, we got other bits. I'm going to be coming back and I'm going to be making... I'm, I'm going to leave that purple tablet here. I don't want to carry that one around. A fire extinguisher I will take. Uh, metal salvage, uh, we'll just leave that, dump that there for a minute. Okay, we're good to go. Nope, wrong one. We're good to go, we're good to go. We want to go back out here. Uh, exit base, and I want to grab some food. I need some food, come here. Come here, you. Right, we got a peeper. And... Oh, I don't want that one. Uh, boomerang fish are good. Boomerang fish can be that can be some good food. And I might actually try and take a little bit of food with me for a long journey. Well, come, I can't catch them. Come here, boomerang fish. It's the peepers that I really want to get, but the boomerang fish will do. We'll, we'll keep hold of those. Um, peepers are the mo The peepers are the ones that give you the most sustenance. They are they are definitely the better ones. If if I can catch them. <laughs> right, I got it. At last, I got it. Okay, uh, I think that is probably enough. I've got I got loads of boomerang fish. I got two peepers. If I can get one more peeper, maybe. That was a boomerang fish there. Uh, it's not those. And oh, there is my peeper that I'm after. I got him. Right, so we are good to go. I can go now, and I'm gonna um, use some of this. We should have a little bit of salt left. So if I go into the locker here, I've got. A couple of salt deposits which we need to make the long-term food. Have I only got that one salt? Uh, those two? Oh, no, there's a load more salt in there. Right. Excellent. So there is the salt. Now we can go to here. We've got to go over to that one. And we want to go cook... Uh, no, we want to go cooked food first. I'm going to make some boomerangs. We have a whole load of food now. We've got three cured peepers which are preserved in salt. They, they do dehydrate by minus two, which... Is, not a huge amount, so we should be all right with vital that. Vital signs stabilizing. Excellent. That's what we want. We want our vital signs stabilized. And there we go. So we're on 96 on food. Uh, water, we still need a bit more. So we're up to 100. So we've got two bottles of water to take with us. We've got two full batteries. I think we're okay. I think we're good to go on this. Oh, actually, there was one more thing that I wanted to do. Um, and I don't think it's in here. It's the... The med oh for, no it's just that's just the first take it is the med kit make thing um let's go on this one and if I look in here it's yeah there we go medical kit fabricator I need fiber mesh silver or titanium and a computer chip uh the computer chip is is not in here that is in this one over here we're gonna make one of those but I'm not gonna do it right now uh, resources electronics computer chip there table coral gold and copper wire. I think we got most of that. We just need to, um, mostly it's the, the table coral that we need. 
Um, we'll worry about that another time. Right now, that one. We are now going to actually go there and see if we can find what is there. I'm also wondering if, because, um, yeah, we, we, we do need the other piece of the battery charger. So we'll keep an eye out for that. What is this? What is this? Uh, mobile vehicle. We've already got mobile vehicle. Bay. Um, and we'll go and take a look at that one as well because the sea moth, we've got all of the bits for the sea moth. We don't have the bits for the cyclops. That is one that we're going to be working on later. Right, I need to exchange power source already. There we go. Right, away we go again. Have I got... I don't have the light on at the moment. I think I'll probably be all right without the light on. I'm going to start taking a little look around for any crates or anything like that as we go through here. We're only 400 meters away from our intended target. So let's go and get some oxygen first and we can have a little look around. Well, we were slightly that way, I think, last time. Over down here. Um, we're sort of coming to the end. I think we were slightly over that way last time. So we're in deeper waters. This is, I, I, oh, I'm very cautious about deeper waters. What is that? There are things there, and I don't know what they are. Let's just come down slowly. They they look they look like they have teeth. I don't I don't like teeth. That thing looks horrible. It it's screaming. It's actually screaming. I can hear it. Just a faint scream. Jelly Ray. Jelly Ray. Right. Um. Jelly Ray. What are you? Uh, oh, what's that? Is that what is that something that I want? Uh, the is biomass in this area is dominated by plant life, picking up faint Altera vehicle signatures. Okay, Altera vehicle signatures, faint around here. We got the tree mushrooms here. Uh, what else have we got? Have we got anything else I can scan? This place does actually look quite nice. Those those jelly things didn't attack us. Tree leech. What is that? Indigenous life form, databank entry. Let's just take things steady here. Uh, I want to go back up to here a minute and get some oxygen. Then we come back down. We're on uh, yeah, 120 meters depth. It's quite a long way down. We're going to have to be very cautious of that as we do drop down through. But I'm hoping somewhere down here we'll be able to find some diamonds. Now, I have taken the... Uh, a lot of people have asked me not to read up too much on the game. And they quite like what you, you do see, enjoy the way that I'm sort of trying to puzzle my way through it. I don't want to come up against too much with Dead War because I know that gets really frustrating for people to watch. Um, but at the same time, I'm willing to... Um, we'll sort of go halfway on it, I think. But what I need to find are shale outcrops. I know that much so that I can get the diamond. I need shale so that I can get the diamond. Right, that's salt there. I'm not picking that up. Um, we can easily find salt close to home. So I'm looking around here and my target is... Shale outcrops. I don't know if they're down here, though. That's a creature egg. It's another... It's got to be something to do with those jelly things. Um, our target... Our main target is over there. But I'm looking around this area to see if there are any shale outcrops. Sometimes... Uh, I don't actually know where they are. I just know that they are shale, and they're not in the normal places. Right, what have we got for oxygen? 81 on oxygen. I'm thinking... That I will leave that a minute. I will go straight up. I will get oxygen and then we will come back down and we can take a look at what that particular one has to offer. 160 meters down below the surface this one is. So we'll go whizzing all the way back down here. Everything is coming into focus now. We've got a giant crab type thing over the top. But I don't think that's actually anything to worry about. Uh, that is nothing there. So it doesn't look like there's any shale outcrops. Let's take a look around. Uh, we do want to be a little bit careful, a little bit cautious, I think. There is there's a body on board. There's something. Right, well, it doesn't look like there's anything outside of this. Ooh. Okay, that actually made me a little bit nervous for a minute. It is as... Uh, oh, we can pick it up. New creature discovered. Right, well, we'll grab that one. We've got an abandoned PDA. Uh, I, s new PDA data. I don't see anything else in here. There's nothing ready for scanning in here. Right, well, let's let's climb out, and I'm just going to have a look in the immediate vicinity. What is that thing chasing me? I suddenly got very, very... No oh, is that actually asking me to scan? Yeah, it is. That is. I've already scanned it. Jelly Ray. It is asking me to scan it again. Right. Oh, I thought I already scanned that one. 
Maybe I didn't. Uh, what is this? This is another salt. I'm going to grab that salt deposit as we're here. And I'm looking around just to see if there's anything nearby that we want to like, pick up and do anything with. It doesn't look like there is anything here. This, this does look like it's been abandoned. Ooh, what's that? Lithium! We got our very first lithium. I've, I've still not got diamond, but uh, lithium is good. Lithium is good. Okay, I'm, I'm starting to get nervous now. All these jelly rays that I, I don't... Oh, crumbs. Uh, we, we, we need to go. We need to go. Um, no, don't self-scan. Get this one. I need this one. I'm not going to make it, am I? I got 100 meters to go. We're on 18 for oxygen. Oh, well, uh, we might make it. 15, 50 meters. 12, 30 meters. Yes, we can make it. Just. Yeah, swim to the... You, no kidding. Swim to the surface. What do you think I'm trying to do? Okay, we're on the surface. We're just going to wait here a second and we're going to take a very quick look. So we got our first lithium. We know that we can got um, all kinds of nice things there. Data banks. We got so the indigenous life forms. Have we got any? We very quickly just take a look at these and just see if there's anything right there. Doesn't say anything. Um, it's exploitable fungal enzymes. Redwort is, yeah, there's just small jelly shrooms. Right, that's what we found last time. Uh, fauna in here. Large jelly ray. And that says just inedible. That's all we got on that. And then herbivore, small boomerang. Is that have we really not found boomerangs before now? Coral, tree mushrooms, excess assessment, exploitable. I don't really know how. Right, data download. Aurora Survivor, Life Pod 13, Emissaries Voice Log. Live pod log sequence initiated. Entry planetary atmosphere. My creators, the cherishers and sustainers of worlds, give me this day my daily pleasures as I give to those who seek pleasures from me. External temperature approaching critical levels. Show me the path in life, truth, and love for mine is the power. I am the one. On and off and on again. Impact imminent. Life is a game which the universe plays with itself. I am done playing as this bundle of flesh. Return me. Okay. That was officially the strangest voice log that we have had so far. Um, life is a game which the universe is playing with, uh, plays with itself. I'm done playing as this bundle of flesh return me. Um, on and off and on again. Um, okay, there's, there's some very strange stuff going on there. <laughs> some very, very strange stuff going on there. I'm not really sure. Well, that was our scanner room that we um, equipped. And then vehicles. We got the Seamoth here. We want to get the Seamoth. Top speed 13 meters per second. Uh, distance per power cell 10k, crush depth 200 meters below sea level. Uh, yeah, I think we want to get the sea moth, and we'll see if we can use that one for exploring some new areas. We found those caves. I think those caves are where we want to go next. So, we've gotten all of this. Uh, now it's completely dark. I don't like going down deep into the ocean when it's dark. I absolutely don't. I'm not ashamed to say that I don't like it when it's dark. I'm terrified of it when it's dark. It's, it's a very scary ocean. It really is. But we need to be able to locate this direction again. Um, so that we can find that great big jelly shroom cave. I want to be able to find that one. And there's no markers or land or anything else to indicate the direction we need to go. We want to get some more beacons. If I get a beacon and I take it out there and I drop it near the entrance of the cave, that might be the way forward. But what we do need to do now is... Oh, we've got another incoming radio transmission. We'll go and look at that as well. Um... There's a few bits that I want to make. I can't make the laser cutter until I find diamond. Um, but we got that deep cave. So I'm, I am thinking that maybe there'll be diamond in that cave somewhere. We know that there is, uh, there's those big snake-like things. I'm going to assume that those are dangerous. I can't possibly for the light, just even for a moment, I can't imagine that they're not dangerous. They, they, they've got to be hideously dangerous. Ooh, so it's very, very shallow here. I know it says the shallows, but this is like really seriously shallow. Now, there, we needed some table coral at one point as it's not those it was table plate corals or something oh what's that is that the one coral shell plate uh that might be the one i'll take a couple of samples is it sample it i don't seem to be getting anything from it so maybe that's not the one that i want there was 
a coral that I wanted for one of these blueprints somewhere. Blueprints in here. It's not that. Right, power cell there. I need some silicon rubber. Oh, this one here. Yeah, table coral sample. I need that for the computer chip, and I wanted to make a computer chip. I can't remember why I wanted one, but I did want one. Um, we want a compass. That's a wiring kit. We want um, uh, the laser cutter there. The diamond. And if we can't get the diamond, there's no point in getting anything else. But yeah, we want the table coral to be able to make that computer chip. So we do want to have a little look around for some table coral. Where am I supposed to be? I'm going this way. We can have a little... We'll, we'll, we'll take a slower stroll home while we look for this. There's the table coral. It's on the back of this huge great big beastie. I will grab a few samples. Uh, I thought you just hit the stuff and... There we go. There we go. Right. Table coral. How many have I got? Go into there and... Right. I have one table coral sample. I need to get some more. Let's see if there are any more on this one. What's that? Uh, I don't even know what that is. Hold on. Knife. Right, it doesn't look like it's anything at all. And... Thirty seconds. Right, we, we, we need to get up to the top and then we can take another look. I'm trying to get the table coral samples. I need two to make the computer chip. And then, is it only on the backs of these things that the table coral grows? On the backs of these leviathans? I was kind of hoping that it would be a bit easier than that to get them. Because chasing around after leviathans is a rather time-consuming pastime. Table coral, there's a whole load of it here in the shallows. That makes life a lot easier. So we're going to here. Right, just get close to it like that. Pick it up. I'm going to get four samples, I think, because I want um, two for the item that I wanted to make. So I figure if I get four of them, that should be plenty. We'll be able to uh, get and deal with every absolutely everything that we want to deal with. I want to go up here first because I want to get... Uh, I want to see what the radio signal is, but I also want to... I'm just going to process what we've got here a minute. The spade fish... It's a decent size, but it's salty, apparently. So let's just take a look at that. There is our new cook spade fish. Uh, but we, we still get some water from it, so that is good. And then we got the cured peepers that we got. Right, so let's come out of there, and then we go and look in here. It was the computer chip there. I need copper wire. i got to make some copper. I can make some copper wire. I can do that. I've also got some gold. I picked up a few bits as we were sort of going through. So there is the computer chip. That's the first bit that we wanted. Now, why did I want to make a computer chip? I can't remember. Um, it wasn't for the laser cutter. It wasn't for this. Oh, hang on. I know what it was for. Uh, it's not in the beacon. No, it's not in there. It's uh, We we'll want to go now through to this one here. And it was to make one of these. There. Medical kit. Fiber mesh and silver ore. I've got silver ore. I just need the fiber mesh now. So we'll get that in a minute. But before we do that, radio message. This is LifePod 4. We've landed close to the Aurora. Flotation device is active, but we've got some big old fish in the water with us, and I don't know how long we're going to last. We're close to the crash site, so bring radiation protection. Four out. Signal coordinates corrupted. Approximate transmission origin recorded to date to bank. Okay. Um, that might be more difficult. He's in. He's in like a difficult area. That one is... Oh, no, we've already looked at that. Uh, right, basic materials of fiber mesh is creepvine samples. I need a couple of creepvine samples. Let's just go and have a look up here. So somewhere over there is another one. Is Some big old fish, he said. Let's just take a look in here and we go to the data bank. we got data downloads there. Codes and clues. Transmission origin. Distress signal. Um... Transmission origin approximately 150 meters northwest of Aurora's port midsection. Right, we need to make a compass. That is going to help us out a great deal. We've got a compass here somewhere. Let's just go. We, there's the Cyclops Bridge. We don't worry about that. Uh, compass, 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 compass. A battery charger is busy making. We've got the fabricator there. It's not any... No, it's, it's not those. Let's just jump... Um, Let's go back in here a minute. There we go. Use the fabricator. Somewhere on here. Tools. Pathfinder, flare, habitat builder, laser cutter, stasis rifle, propulsion cannons. Well, it's not any of those. So what about equipment? It's under here. 
Rebreed compass. There we go. Right, I need a wiring kit and copper wire. Wiring kit, I'm pretty sure, is the silver uh, in here. Wiring kit, two silver ore, and I need copper for that as well. I think I got most of that already, but we can go and grab a few more materials just so that we've got the rest of it. And what else was it that I said that I needed? I can't actually remember now. There was something else. I don't think there was anything in particular. Right, we got the table coral. I was, um, I've, I've got that dealt with. Let's look here. Yeah, table coral. I. There isn't a huge amount more that I want. We just kind of, we want to, um, yeah, the coral shell plates. I don't need to worry about that. This one here is sea glide. Yeah, the, these ones close by we can ignore. I just want to go and get a few uh, resources now. We go along the the front down here. This is a good place to get some silver, mostly. A little bit of silver there, and have we got any more? Just need a couple more bits of silver around here. I'm sure, I can hear something chasing me. I've, you've got to be careful going through these caves because you can. There's some more copper there. Excellent. Copper's always good. We always want copper. Uh, I don't really see very much else here in this area. We'll go up through... Oh, hang on. Oh, no, that's not one there. We'll just run along the front here, grab a few more bits. Those sand sharks make me nervous. They they come running along with the teeth and everything. But, I mean, generally, they, 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 see, they seem reasonably harmless. There's a crash fish. Where's he gone? Oh, he's, he's run out the other way. Look at him. They're insane, those things. They are absolutely insane. 30 seconds. Whoa! Lots of crash fish! <laughs> that actually scared me. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Right. Um, I'll sit up here for a minute. Okay. I've got my um, bravery back. Seriously? More of them? How many of them are there? Limestone there, that's mostly titanium. Oh, we got some quartz there I could be glad of. Um, there's more limestone. And it was mostly the other stuff that I wanted. I didn't want uh, the titanium. Oh, no, no, no! Ah, no! Another one! <laughs> Seriously, these things are insane! They're absolutely nuts! <laughs> I love it. I really love it. Right, let's uh, just grab that sulfur there a minute. And then we'll ignore the crash fish for a minute. And we're going to go back home. I think we've got the materials that we need mostly. We go back down to this home down here. And we want to make a compass. We go, There's a few other things that we want to make as well. Let's Welcome do that. Aboard, right. And uh, first of all, I need some water. So let's have a little bit of water. We're, we're, we're actually running low on water. Vital signs stabilizing. To be careful of this. It's so easy to run out of food and water. I need to make some planters and stuff in here so that we're, we're sort of ready. And I've been... Oh, I need some beacons as well. I want to make... Uh, I want two beacons. I want two of those so that we can mark out locations of other things uh, when we get to them. We can drop them off. So we've got those. They're ready. Then I also want in here... I want equipment. I want a compass. So I need a wiring kit and I need copper wire. So there's the copper wire... I should be able to do a wiring kit as well. There we go, wiring kit. And that will make me my compass. Go into there, and it's tools. No, it's not. It's equipment. It's compass right there. So we can equip that one. Right. Now we're getting somewhere. We're actually, we're actually making some decent progress today. So there's our compass. We got that one. Uh, we've got two beacons there ready to roll. We've got co table coral samples there so that we can make another computer chip. I'm actually going to make that one a minute, and I need to look in there. I need gold and more copper wire. Uh, copper. I need copper. We've got loads of copper here. So let's grab a few of those and a piece of gold as well. That'll do for a second, and we go back into the fabricator, electronics, copper wire. Uh, and then I think that was all, wasn't it? So we want to come down through. No, it's not in that one. What was it that I said I wanted to make? I can't remember now. It's not the, oh, I, that's what I meant to go and get, so I could do the fiber mesh. I completely forgot about that. Uh, tools, air bladder, flare, habitat builder, laser cutter, no. Oh, it's computer chip. I want to make a computer chip. There, that one. Gold and copper wire. So I've got a second computer chip. That's used up a few of the resources. 
I got more copper wire I can make there. I'm not going to worry about that. So then we've got tools. Uh, I don't want to make any of those. Air bladders, stasis rifle. I still need a diamond. Well, two diamonds. I need two diamonds to be able to do that. These over here, we don't need to worry about them. Right, it was creep vine. I needed the creep vine. Let's go and get that a minute. I need. I, I desperately need creep vine really quickly. So we'll run over here and we'll grab that. I want two lots... Well, actually, I'll, I'll get as much as I can. I don't think I can take any more than two lots, which is a bit of a nuisance. Still, we, we, we'll cope. Uh, get rid of that. There we go. That's how I like this one. And then if I switch over to the knife. One, two. And we're full. Right. Now we can go back over this way. Go back over into our habitat. And then we can make the... It was the med kit thing that I wanted to make. But I also want to... I, actually, there, there is one other thing I want to do. And I want to do that. I'm not quite sure where we're going to put it, though. Maybe on there. This is it's the, the multi-purpose room that I wanted to make. Unless I can... Can I stick it out the side? I might be able to stick it out the side here. The multi-purpose room. Uh, I want to go to there. And then I want to go to that one. Right. Base pieces. Scanner room. Observatory. Multi-purpose room, I need titanium. I don't have enough on me. The observatory, I need enamel glass. That one there, I need another tape scanner room. We need to do... The, that's one that we need to make as well. I've got... I don't have the table coral. I need... Uh, right, we'll, we'll go and do that in a minute. Let's do that first. I have no room. So let's go into the base. Let's do these one at a time. And we'll go over to... You. And here to resources. Basic materials, fiber mesh. How many fiber can I... Uh, oh, I need two creep vines to make the fiber mesh crumbs. This um, is quite expensive, actually, for resources, if you think about it. So we go to their interior modules. I still need the silver ore. So let's get the silver ore. And go in here. And now, how many silver ores have I got? I got loads of quartz. Uh, there is no silver ore in there. What about you? Have you got any? There's more quartz there. There is one silver ore. This is all I've got. It's not actually very good. I need more than this. I uh, want you. Right. Medkit fabricator at long last. So we'll put this one on the wall right next to that one. We'll put it there. There we go. Medical kit fabricator. When it's done. Right. Fantastic. That one is now finished. And we have a little bit more space in our bags. We can still do with a bit more space. Um, the computer chip can stay there. I'm not really going to do anything with that for a minute. Let's go and get two more creep vines. And now I've run out of battery and I can hear something growling in the distance, which is never very comforting, really. Okay, we'll run this one over here to our base. We've got, uh, I think we've got plenty of copper so I can make a few more batteries in here as well. Go in here and, right, I got some more of that. I wanted to make some more um, fiber mesh. I'm not sure why I wanted fiber mesh, but I got some more creep vines so we can make some more of that. One is that there's a piece. Why did I want that? You know, I honestly can't remember now why I actually needed the fiber mesh. It wasn't for that. We weren't making that one. The first aid kit. Oh, I've, I've done that. That's that's finished. Electronic. No, it's. Um, I think I actually it's it's in here, isn't it? I want to go to that one and those we're going to do in a minute. So it was actually it was the base pieces. I want the scanner room. I need gold. I need table coral. I need titanium. Multi-purpose room, I need loads of titanium. And then the observatory, I need enamel glass. Enamel glass will be fine. I'll, I'll deal with that in a bit. Um, so it's this here. Gold. No, not that one. This one. So we want six titanium for that first. And then this one over here is five titanium and the gold. And oh, I need to go and get table coral. One piece of table coral is all I need to be able to complete that. So let's put that one away. And we look in here. So I want to eat that one. And again... There we go. I know I'm using up a bit of my salt that I've um, accumulated for that, but that's, that's fine. We, we can cope with that. The quartz can stay there. The fiber mesh can stay... Oh, I've actually got some fiber mesh. I didn't even know that. We want titanium. I need six pieces. So there's two, three, four, five, six for that one. And then one, two, three, four, five for the next one. And I also need gold. And then we need a piece of table coral. I don't think there was any... Was there anything else? Go to this one here, and that one is the six. Yeah, that's fine. Gold tape. I just need a table coral sample, 
and we can make both of those. We can make the scanner room and the other one. Of course, the, the, the big question is now, can I... I it's the, the, um, the set, not the foundation. I don't want that. Uh, that's good. Reinforcement here. Oh, fantastic. I've got a piece of lithium. Now, we'll, we'll probably be glad of that. So let's, let's go outside. We want to go and grab the table coral. There is actually loads of it around here. It's all down here. There, there's a piece. I only need one of you. I always end up going through this the wrong way, don't I? There we go. Table coral. Brilliant. It's just the one piece is all I wanted. So I can switch over to that one right there. So where am I going to put the bits on my base? How am I going to do this? I think we'll put... I want a, kind of a big room out over here. So we want to go a multi-purpose room like that. How can I put a multi-purpose room on here? Ah, I see. Right, that sticks out on that end. Oh, and it can stick out on this end. I can I can have it stuck right... This is kind of what I wanted. I want it right out on the edge like this. I think this would look absolutely brilliant, being right out like this. So there we go. Minus... Uh, total is now 3.8 for the base it strength. It be prudent to separate work and leisure spaces to maximize productivity. Treat okay. this space as your home, but never forget that it is not. Okay. I need to treat it like it's my home, but not forget that it's not my home. Makes perfect sense. Right, so we got that one there, and then I want a scanner room, is the other one that we want. Is that one there. Now, where can I put the scanner room? Can I put that out? Oh, I need a section to go from here out onto there. So I can put the scanner room over here somewhere. Right, onto the edge of the, onto the, edge of the base here, maybe. It won't go that way. Let it go over here, out this side. That that would be a cool place to put a scanner room right there. But why won't it... Oh, does it need to go on top? I wonder if it does need to go on top. The gold, table coral. Right. The, there is no... That's very weird. Why is it sort of floating? I'm, I'm going to deconstruct that. Does it give me everything back? I hope so. Oxygen. I kind of need oxygen. Uh, oh, I made it just in time. Just in time. I got it. I got it. Uh, uh, de done. I I'm done. Yes, it did. It does give you everything back. That is good. Um, so I'm thinking that maybe this one needs to go on the top. Scanner room there. Can I plonk that? No. Nope. Right. So it doesn't go on there. Ah, look there. That's got a um, like a, a, a room coming out of it. Like that. Um, how do I rotate it round? Like that. There. So why won't it go there? What is wrong with that uh, location? I think what I need to do is I need to have a straight compartment. So we want to have that one there. Why can't I put a straight compartment onto here? Why won't you go? You'll go that way, but you won't go that way. Oh, there's, there's stuff... I remember now, I've, I've, it's because I got the things in behind there, I reckon. Uh, so I put that one on there. I need to get a bit more titanium now. Minus one to hull strength. Yeah, that's fine. Is there titanium down here? I don't think there is. I need to go back up and... Let's go and take a look in our new base a minute. Welcome aboard, Captain. Right, so we've got this room that goes out that way. That's fine. And then we've got this open bit, and then we've got the multi-purpose room here. There's nothing. Can we can we do anything? Right, there's there's nothing coming out at the moment, but we've now got our compass, which shows us the directions that we can turn. So this nice big room, this. I, I like this. I, I like the space that we've got for it. We need a little bit of titanium now. How much do I need? I need two more pieces of titanium. Go into the locker, and one, two. Right, you're dealt with. And then we can come out here, exit the base. Right. Now, can I put the scanner room up on top? Let's take a look. I'm going to go that one. And then I want to go here to scanner room. I can put the scanner room on top. And I can rotate it around any direction that I want. I can also put the scanner room on there. That's what I wanted to do. I wanted to put it on the end of that one. Then it will go right on there. I got a feeling that the hull integrity is going to be severely compromised from this, though. 
100%. It's now 1.8. So what we can do, I think, is you go in there and uh, you can, like, just change how the whole integrity is, like, holding up. Let's go back in. And we've got these rooms here. So there is our scanner room in there. We've got this. Uh, this is fantastic. This is absolutely fantastic. We've got all of these bits now. It's the next one that I want to make. This one here. And then I want to make that reinforcement there. I need three titanium. I've got the lithium. I just need three titanium. What are you? Where are you? Where's, where is it? Uh, one, two, and three. Perfect. And then I can make you like that. Right. Reinforcement. Oh, you, you, plonk, you stick it on the side. Right. I'm with you. So it, it just reinforces the side of the base, wherever you happen to be. Let's go through here. Uh, I need to. I need to make it again. There. Right. Select it. You put it on like that. So it doesn't go there. It just. It goes on the sides of some of these bits, like that there. So I'll put that one on there, and that reinforcement there will actually give me more strength. Plus seven to base hull strength. Total is now 8.8. .8. That is fantastic. That means that we're not going. It's not going to sink. It's, we're not going to like spring a leak or anything. So how do we use this room here? We got a fabricator in here. Oh, this is a different fabricator. This is not a fabricator. Camera drone. Scanner room range upgrade. Magnetite. We need mag. Oh, silver and uh, scanner room speed upgrade enhances the speed of the scan. And scanner room H uh, HUD chip. Okay, that's, that's needs magnetite on there. Right, so what do we got in here? This is it's like a map. It's like like a big open map. And this is data box, creature air. Ooh. Oh, it tells you where to, where to look for stuff. Uh, right, metal salvage, quartz, reef back, salt deposit, wreck, titanium. Oh, shale chunk. That's what I want. Scanning. Camera one. Now, what's the scan doing? How long does it take to do this? I have a camera. Oh, sweet. I can use a camera to look round. Shale chunk. There's a shale chunk down here. Where is the shale chunk? It's a long way away. Right, I want to come straight out from my place, and then I want to head on down this way. Uh, it looks like... Oh, there there it is. Shale Chunk. That's got that's the one with the diamond in it, and this is also that really freaky biome as well. And it's not actually that far away. This is cool. This thing is absolutely fantastic. Look at this camera. Right, uh, I want to... How, how do I... Camera two. I don't have a camera two. Camera one. What's it doing? Ah, I, oh, it takes a while for it to load up. Right, camera two. Where is camera two? Have I even got a camera two? It's taking its time. Oh, there's camera two. Right, I'm looking. Uh, um, looking around. Yeah, uh, camera two is right next to me. I got more shale chunks over that way. Oh no, that's that's where camera one is. So if we look round, I see no more shale chunks. They are all over that way. I'm gonna park this camera right here. So how do I come out of this? Ah, press E. That is fantastic. Seek fluid intake. This thing is so cool. We got a scanner room. Look at it. That thing looks brilliant. I have no fluid. This is not the best of situations to be in. Uh, what do we got in the locker? I need some bleach. So to make bleach, I need the coral tube samples and salt, I think. I've got lots of salt here, so we'll do that. And we come out of there, and then we go to the fabricator. We go to resources and materials. Yeah, there we go, salt deposit. And this will make two bottles of water. So I'll... Actually, no, I want to go there. I'll make a, I'll make the six bottles of water that we want. We, we can get from these. Uh, we're going to have to get some more coral tube samples at some point. We don't actually need to worry about it too much at the moment, though. Right. Go in here. We've got loads of water. That'll that'll keep us going for a little bit. Vital, Vital signs. Steins. Stabilizing. Vital signs. Vital signs. Stabilizing. 
Okay, and I've got two spent batteries there. I could do with some more batteries, really. I could do with getting the battery charger. The battery charger is kind of an important thing for me. And soon, sooner rather than later, I need that battery charger. Look in here. Uh, do I have anything in there that's going to be any use? That's dead batteries again. Um, this locker here is the one that I want. And it's two mushrooms per battery. So I want one, two, three, four, if I'm making those two. Fabricator, resources, electronics, and battery. There we go. So I can make two fresh batteries that we can take with us. I want to find the other piece for the, the battery charger, but I've, I've got no idea where that would be. Um, right, we're going to go, and we're going to go... Oh, I know what, there was one other thing that I wanted to do next. Well, I say there's one other thing. Uh, what I want to do next, I want to go and get that shale thing. Uh, but I also want to make a sea moth. We're going to go this way. We're going to go to camera one over there. That is the entrance to those caves. I'm not going down into those caves until we've got the sea moth, and we'll use the sea moth for actually taking us into the caves. I think it's going to be a safer thing altogether to use that one for it. But there is that camera. So the shale was down here. Right on the edge of this one. Is it going to give us some diamond? There we go. Shale. Right. Scan that one. That's what we want. There we go. And diamond. What did I get? What was it? That wasn't diamond. Gold. I don't want gold. I want diamond. Uh... Right, I'm looking around, but this this goes down to the really dangerous stuff. I'm pretty certain that this down here is some seriously bad stuff. Um, it's, it's just not healthy for us in the slightest. Not even a little tiny bit. That's why I don't want to be down here. Where's the other shale? What's that? That one isn't shale. But it is, some, it is, that was some copper. We've got a bit of titanium there as well. Right, I'm only 57 on oxygen, so I've got to be careful of that. All right, we'll ignore the rest of it. There is, it doesn't look like there's any more shale right here. So um, we, we'll mostly, I just want to look around the entrance ways here and see if there's anything. Doesn't look like there's anything much here. The shale is difficult to spot. It's the problem. It does not show up very well. Yeah. Right, okay, we'll ignore that. We're going to go back to our base. 30 seconds of oxygen. I want to just go up to the top. We've got the mobile vehicle um, bay type thing that's on the surface. And we can take a look in that one and we'll see what we need to make the sea moth. We'll make the sea moth and we should be able to go and explore the cave. I still... I, I need to do all this because what I need to do is I want to get the laser cutter. I've been told I need the laser cutter to go into the Aurora. We've got the propulsion cannon now, but we still don't have any laser cutter which is what we want to be able to get in there. Right, uh, let's use that, and then we use this one right here. Vehicles. Sea moth, right there. We need a titanium ingot, a power cell, glass times two, lubricant, and lead. Okay, titanium ingot is easy, lubricant is easy, power cell is... I don't remember what that needs, and glass is very, very easy. Okay, we'll, we'll come out of here. Let's, um, let's leave that. We'll just go quickly in... No, we're, we're going to go down to our main base down here. Where all the good stuff is. We got our hatch on this side. So let's go in here. And we'll take a look. So we we'll need... Welcome aboard, Captain. I love being welcomed aboard, Captain. Makes me sound very important, doesn't it? Uh, we need a power cell. This is one thing that we need. And that one is there. So we need two batteries and silicon rubber. Easy to do that one. Um, I can actually do that right now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it... I've been told you can do this with flat batteries... And then it doesn't use up your, your charge batteries. So if I put those two in there like that. Those two are flat like that. So we take those and I'll take the silicon rubber. So we can come out of there and we can go into the fabricator. We can go there and there. And then we can make the power cell using the two dead batteries. Huge great big creature that one is. Okay, so that's that bit done. And we'll look back in here and we'll take these two charge batteries. We want to keep hold of them. There is our power cell. Okay, that's the first section done. Uh, what else did I need? We needed a power cell. I absolutely cannot remember for the life of me what else we needed for this. And we look through here. Uh, miscellaneous, hatch, multi-purposes, uh, scanner room, upgrades. There we go. This is the one that I want. Right, titanium ingot, glass and lubricant. Lubricant we can't get yet. We, we'd have to go out and unless I've got some spare in here, I don't think I do. Glass, however, is just from quartz. So we'll take a couple of those. And 
What have we got in here? There's not a lot in there, really. Right. We'll make the glass. There, resources, basic materials, and glass. I don't remember what the... There's enameled glass that we need for something as well. Oh, we need two quartz to make the glass. And I believe that if we look in here, in the blueprints, you will see glass times two. And then a titanium ingot as well. We'll look into there. I need some more titanium. I think... I, you know, I honestly can't remember how much titanium is required for an ingot. Into there. Resources, basics. Uh, titanium ingot is ten. And we've only got four. So we'll grab that. And then we will get ten titaniums in here as well. Into here. Uh, we don't have any in there. And in here. I got four there. That makes six. Is that all that I've got? I don't have room for the rest of them either. This is not good. We'll drink one of those. We'll eat that one. That's cleared a bit more room. This should actually be just enough. Uh, I'll leave the lead behind. And then I will go into this locker. Have I got, oh, I've got more titanium here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I just heard... What was going on? Power. Warning. Why? Emergency power only. Why? Is it because it's night time and I've got a solar panel up there? This concerns me. Can I use it? I can't use that one. I think I need more um, solar panels. Or we need to wait until daytime. I can't use I can't use the fabricator now. This is a nuisance. I want to use the fabricator. I want to... Uh, I, I think I've got everything I need. I can just go up to the top. Let's just go up here. Very quickly, we'll run up to this one. We'll worry about making another solar panel and more power sources and everything next time. We've got a fabricator right here. It's not in there. It's in resources, basic materials, titanium ingot. Pick that one. There we go. Right, I got another radio transmission. We will look at that beginning of next episode. We're not going to do it today. We're going to go in here into blueprints. We've just the lubricant that we need. That is the only item that we need and it takes... I want to make the seam off. I really do. Um, we, we've sort of done... We've, we've come so far now. One creepvine seed cluster. That's all I need. Have I got any here? I don't. Okay, we'll go and grab that. Just the one creepvine seed cluster. Where is the nearest ones? Nope, nope, nope. And you? Right, where is the nearest one? I think there is some just over here. I think they are pretty close. There we go. Look at them all. Glowing in the distance, that's all I need. I just want one of those to make the lubricant. Because I only need a single solitary lubricant. Grapevine seed cluster. I'm actually going to take two of them. Because then I can make a spare lubricant. We will go back. If you enjoyed this episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. As soon as we have made this seam off. We will stop and we will be trying it out in next episode. Uh, let me just go up into here. There we go. It's exciting times, this is. Exciting times. So I'm going to there and I'm going to make both lubricants as quickly as I can. So there's one and there is the other one. Right, that is all of the materials we now need to make the sea moth. If you look here. Sea moth, we've got everything, but we can't make it in here. We've got to go out through here, and we've got to run over to the mobile vehicle bay. Where is it? Where are you, mobile vehicle bay? There you are. That one right there. Right there, climb. Get on to you. And use. There we go. We look in here. Vehicles. Sea moth! Oh, what's it doing? Is a fast, safe mode of transport. But remember that uh, swimming is good for your glutes and endorphin levels. Okay. Right, everything is restored down there. Power's restored because the sun has come back. And there is our new beastie. Look at it in all its glory. So we've got the scanner room. We've got a big multi-purpose room. Our base is expanding. And we have now got the Seamoth. We'll use the Seamoth in our next episode, though. We're not going to use that one today. Today um, was all about getting the scanner room and multi-purpose room and getting stuff ready for our next big epic adventure. So until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.